Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will use Google Earth Studio with Premiere Pro to set up that fly through you just saw just then. If you have not set up your uh, Google Earth Studio account, it is available for free. Uh, search for Google Earth Studio on Google search and sign up. Um, it's quite easy and straightforward. Once you have completed the registration process, uh, we will start using Google Earth Studio. Uh, on this page, what we'll do is we will click on the new blank project. We will give the project uh, a new name, in this case, Perth City, and we will set up the other um, features on this uh, particular footage uh, we will set it up for 1920 by 1080 and um, we're going to see whether we can do slow motion with about 60 frames per second once we have done that um, just press on the ok button and we will load up with the google Earth studio on my screen you see it in a dual screen view or two window view i uh, prefer using the um, single window view first we will turn using uh, your mouse wheel and your mouse to face australia in this case and then we will mark this with keyframes on the top left corner you'll see a keyframes marker once we have done the keyframes we move the marker forward a few frames we select for the location in this case st george's terrace uh, in perth city western australia so by typing in that in automatically we will be brought into St. George's Terrace. Once we have uh, reached uh, this scene here, what we'll do is we will set it up. So first things first, we will bring to the start point before the fly through happens. Uh, once we have done this, I'm going to Fast forward this edit um, where I will insert all the required keyframes for this footage. Once we have uh, completed all the key framing edits uh, with the uh, camera rolls and everything else, uh, once we're happy with that on Google Earth Studio, uh, we will then hit the render button, which is the red button on the top corner of the screen. Uh, we will name the render as per city in this case and make sure all the settings are by default. So all you have to do is just click submit and it will render on the cloud. Once the render is complete, uh, you'll be notified uh, by a pop-up on your screen or an email will be sent to your registered email and you can download the footage. As usual, uh, this is the final product of the uh, whole edit. So I've imported the, um, the footage into uh, my Premiere Pro screen and I've done some edits. Uh, what I did was especially, if you have a look at my effect panel, I have included the transform and included a 360 degree shutter angle to keep it cinematic. I've also um, make, made sure that I had set up uh, some lumetri color settings. So in here, um, I've included some changes in the temperature settings, uh, the tint, um, the saturation, plus the exposure level. So I've changed some of them. It all depends on um, your footage. So in this case, this is my settings and that's the footage I get. 
Now, if you notice on my Premiere Pro scene, I've got an adjustment layer. Now, this adjustment layer is basically um, creative adjustment layer. If I were to go have a look at this Lumetri uh, color effects, if I scroll down, I'm using a teal and orange uh, Lumetri effect to keep that cinematic look for uh, the footage. So once you've done that, um, completed all your all your uh, color calibration and grading, uh, you can now include some music. Uh, I've got some music which I'm, I am uh, downloading from uh, Envato Elements, um, and you can have a free trial of Envato Elements at the bottom of my description. I've, I'll put in a free trial for you there. I've also included some sound effects uh, which gives that cinematic feel to uh, to the whole footage. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, Catch you guys later.